make sure you have the Node Wrangler add-on activated. You can make a rock quickly and easily by activating the Extra Object add-on in Preferences. In the Shading Workspace, you can start with the default material. For the color, you can add a color ramp node and connect it to the base color of the principal shader, changing the color of the color stops. To control the roughness, add a second color ramp and connect it to the roughness input of the principal shader. Move the white color stop to the left to increase the roughness. For the bump, add a texture coordinate node and two noise texture nodes. Connect the object output of the texture coordinate to the vector inputs of the noise textures. With the Node Wrangler add-on activated, you can use Control shift left mouse button to view the first noise texture. Make any changes to the options you wish. Repeat this process for the second noise texture. Use Control Shift Left Mouse button to view the principal shader. Add two bump nodes. Connect the first noise texture to the height of the first bump node. Connect the first bump node to the normal of the second bump node. Connect the second bump node to the normal input of the principal shader. Add a color ramp and connect the factor of the second noise texture to the color ramp. Connect the color ramp to the height of the second bump node. Make adjustments to the color stops to add smoother areas to the rock material. Connect the factor from the second noise texture to the factor of the second color ramp, the one that's being used for roughness. If you want to use some displacement, switch to the Cycles Render. Add a Verona Texture node and connect the factor from the second noise texture to the vector of the Verona texture. Add a displacement node and connect the distance of the Verona texture to the normal of the displacement. Connect the displacement node to the displacement of the material output. Make changes as needed to the nodes. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, 
comment, and subscribe. If you enjoyed this video about making a procedural rock material in Blender, then you're probably interested in 3D modeling or texture art. So if you are interested in those topics, you may enjoy this video. Have a good day.